don't see anything to indicate that there's reapers around right now, such as my uh, guy's uh, feathers sticking straight up, which they're not. Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to be working on the farm, and hopefully we can go and get a feather light here. So, as you guys know, I got the glow pets, or the glow tails from last time, of course they are glow pets. And they are level balanced. Now I'm balancing out their colors. Um, bulldogs are going. Uh, I'll still be in the base here for a hot minute. And I mean, we do got some glow bugs going as well. I'm just trying to clean up this pad. Um, but as you guys can see here, we have a lot of glowing things over here. Now these ones, the, te the completely full one here, these are all oil bugs. All right. Now, these guys are going to be for the oil farm, and then over here, we have Element. Now, you're going to notice something here real quick about these guys. Their levels all change by about 10. And, well, I didn't realize that, but these two, while I was breeding, look at that. If you look, their food and their movement speed change, and they're both off by 10. So, I had to crack two eggs, and they're up there in the cryo fridge. Alright, so I got my breeding pair out of them, but yeah, I kind of jumped the gun on these guys. But anyway, since we do have those guys all ready to go, I've been working on the farms for them over here. I've just gotten down some foundations and some ramps, and I've been kind of really thinking over the designs, and I think I've found one I think I'd like. I'm going to try here. Now, I got all my stuff here, and we're just going to quickly throw these guys up. Now, I think I did my math correctly on getting pieces might be wrong i hope i'm not let's take you off take you off throw you guys on now boom okay so what i want to start with here is the walls on the back like so it's gonna be solid walls like that um since they are gonna be jug bugs i'm going to do similar uh or almost well exact same i, I should get that correct we're gonna do exact same here on the back part design there we go uh, we're using the catwalk here as kind of like the second floor for the second row of uh, bugs so we'll have like the bottom row here filled up and then we'll have the top one where we can run up and gather from them and this is an earthquake and I hate to build an earthquake so I'm gonna wait a second okay now we're done so we're gonna do that and one pillar here now these are just gonna be kind of like the full like Instead of the walls, we're going to have pillars here. Just so that way it doesn't look completely whack, you know? I don't want it looking completely wackadoodle, you know? You gotta have it looking normal. But now, let's throw on one, six, six, five, okay, five. Now, I might need to use something here. Okay, so now we're going to be using these. I got some double doorways here. Now, hopefully these work. Yes, they should. If I go boom, and then I should be able to pick up. Okay, uh, now I, fi I fixed it. We're just going to leave it like this. We put up those, and then boom, and then bang. Like that. Like that. Okay. Okay, and there we go. Those farms look great. Alright, now it's time for roofs. Now I'm just going to do wood like I've done almost every other building so far. I think, yeah, I think that's what we're going to probably be using as our, uh, what is it? Or as our palette here. We're going to be doing almost like just wood for... These, yeah, that's better. There we go. Alrighty, that's one ceiling. And there's the second ceiling. Okay. Those actually look like they're pretty damn darn good. They should work really well. I wonder if maybe we should paint the wood a different color. Just so that way it doesn't all look the same. 
I'm just kind of wondering what we should do. Alrighty, guys. So I did go through and I did paint these. Got a nice angle here for you guys. Now, as you can tell which one's which, this one's going to be the element. I decided to go with the purple. I went with Roya royality. Was it royalty? Royalty. All right. And then for the oil guys, I went with brick. Now the royal, the royal purple here. It's a nice dark purple. I figured it'd be a nice one. And the brick here is kind of again a nice darker red. I figured it would look much better for the oil pen. All right. Now I gotta just make sure I don't lose this stuff. There we go now. Gonna get these. I'm gonna try and get some dinos in here. I forgot my cryopods. Okay, so I had to do one thing, and that was I went back through and I changed the color. Uh, well, I changed out, not changed the color, I changed out the catwalks for some ceilings. Alrighty, and there we are. So we've gotten them um, placed in. We're all going. These farms are now somewhat complete. The last thing I need to do is level these guys, and now those guys should go by pretty quick. On leveling, especially when I'm constantly having to take out one, like, 220s, because I get the wrong ones here from the bulb dog. Oh my god, I just realized something. I have not been checking on the bulb dogs. Um, there's some corpses on the ground. Okay, guys, so I need to grab my hazard suit here. We're gonna take this, we're gonna put it on. So, now this should help us with the radiation. I've already thrown cinema crops down, so I don't... I already know I don't have them on me, so I won't freak out later and try and think I have my cinema. I forgot my glow pad. I came up here for one specific little guy. That'd be you. Yeah, you. You with my 4,309 charge capacity. As I can tell, you out of all the glow pets, you bulb dogs have the most so far. Okay? Like, here, I'll even go, I'll even go, like, show you guys what I'm talking about. Like, I feel like the shine horn and the glow tail have very little uh, charge capacity in comparison to the bulb dogs. Now, I don't know if that's just a shitty luck I had. With getting, I should not be running through here because there are cold mushrooms. Let's get over here on the path I've created. But anyways, there is a feather like way out over there that we're gonna go get. I got it marked. But in terms of bulb dogs, like as you can see, their highest is a thousand one hundred and eighty-four. Shinehorn one thousand one hundred and thirty. You know what? I guess the shinehorn are are actually up there with you guys. It's the glow tails. Where are my glow tails? Yeah. These guys are capped out at 500. Now, I think that might just be them. They, like, have a bad, uh... They just have, like, a bad charge capacity. I wonder if they make up for it in some other aspect. Maybe, like, range? Maybe they have a bigger range than all the other guys. I don't know. I'd have to look into it. Here we are, entering the purple, or the pink zone. The radiation is not kicking in just yet. Should kick in pretty soon. We're getting close to our guy here, I wonder. I'm going to hop off here. This this is like going to be the one of the safest places in the pink zone. On the... On top of these metal things. Like this is probably the best place ever. You can just stop there. You can do what I did. Activate it up your stuff. Just gonna glide on down this path. Do, 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 do. It's like it's it's legit taking us to the feather light. May as well just keep following it. Boom, boom. Let's head this way. Looks like our feather light's down in here. Anything near you? No. Okay, I already got my stuff set up, so I should just have to run up to you and mashy. Thank you. Okay, that's one feather light down. I didn't even check your stats. Let's see what we got. Forty-three in the stamina. That is your recharge, I believe, or your capacity. I can't remember right now. Five hundred and thirty. Five hundred and thirty. Okay, looks like you have a shite uh charge capacity, like the. 
Glowtails. Now, I did not expect to find one just like that. Honestly, do I got any other feather lights on my thing? Okay, right, let's check out this. Do we got any other feather lights? Only six? Why is it only popping up as six? I might have done something wrong here. Hold on. There we go. Huh. I don't know. Why is it only popping up six? But we got another 150 here. It is a male. What are you? You you are. Okay. Now, this one's only going to get tamed if it has a nice oxygen stat. Okay? Got to remember that. So, so, so dangerous. I gotta watch his feathers as well, because I think I'm starting to enter a Reaper Queen territory, yeah. All up in there, like that back zone there, like that bottom right of the map, that's supposedly Reaper Queen territory. And so is this little part that we're in right now, I believe. Now, don't see anything to indicate but there's reapers around right now, such as my uh, guy's uh, feathers sticking straight up, which they're not, luckily. Are you going to land so I can get you? Ooh, I should check your stats, actually. What are your stats? That is a 37 in oxygen. This guy is so getting tamed. Okay, come here. No, 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 no. No cinema crops. Here he comes, here he comes. We gotta get him, we gotta get him. Ooh, here we go, okay. What did you turn out as now? 52, is that your charge capacity? No, okay. So it seems like you guys have a lower charge capacity than Bulldogs. That's what I'm gonna go with. Oh, I hate the earthquake. No, I gotta get you cryoed. I can't deal with this right now. No! <laughs> okay, we're just gonna sit here. Just gonna sit here and not wait the earthquake. This is, it's, they're so annoying because you can't cryo anything during them. So you just get jolted as you're trying to do it. Okay, legit just stop. Let's get this guy while we can. And we'll go back to the base. Oh, feather light! Feather light's done! Alright, now we really. Do I want to go after another 150? It's another male 152. And it's also a dud. It's not actually ours. Uh, I could use this to get back to my base. Okay, we should be fine. No, we shouldn't, because I was about to head the completely other direction of that. Oh, jeez. I would have gone into Reaper Zone. I would have gone straight up and in. Because I thought Reaper Zone was back this way. No? Am I just... I was wrong. I was about to just add into Reaper territory. I had no idea about it. I had like no idea. I was full on about to run into Reaper territory. Ooh, this area looks nice. It's like shallow caves. Hold up. I want to look through here real quick. Like, look at this. It's like archways. It's really nice. It's awesome. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Because I've ran around on Extinction. They got some uh, little like element nodes that will extend up into the air. Like the, you know, the corrupted stuff. And that's what it kind of reminded me like there. Like the archways caused by the corrupted. But those are like actual wooden ones. And they look really nice. Okay. Back. Oh, God, it's done. Boom, let's throw you off for now. Let's get this mask off. I want to actually hang on to you because I want to make sure you get back up into the workshop. This is what I wanted to do. Clear all. There we go. Nothing being tracked. Now, glow tails. Your guys' max is 500. You're 55. Okay. Feather lights. Now, I know there's a little bit of a bug. Where, if you're not cryoed yet, sometimes it doesn't show the right number. It did. It did. 
It did. Why are you guys... I wonder if these two have a different kind of thing to them. Where they have a lower number, but then they also have a larger range. I wonder if that's it. Here, can I turn one of you guys on? I just picked up your poop. Toggle on. I am also, like, running all around with one on. Okay. Well, that looks like a much, much larger range. Although I do got, like, several of them overlapping now. Turn that off. Right? Like, there should be a bubble field. Yeah. I think... The Featherlight and Glowtails just have a larger reach of light than all the other guys. That might be it. I also might be wrong. 